All right, so we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, insert a canvas. Uh, insert from computer. I'll select this computer here. I'm sorry, this uh, file here, and we're going to select the face that we want to. I'll go ahead and put it on the top face here. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to scale this. Um, for now, yeah, we'll just leave it as is. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to come in and zoom in on this f picture here. Uh, over here on canvas, we'll select canvas. We'll right click that and we'll ca calibrate. And we're going to zoom in on the ruler. Find two points on the ruler and scale this by, uh, let's basically tell it that this is an inch between these two points. Um, actually, I'm going to redo that and do it right on the edge. Go ahead and go in real quick and change our units uh, before I, before we move on. So we'll go ahead and put that an inch. Um, and then we're going to go in, right click on the canvas photo, calibrate, and then right on the edge of the ruler, we'll mark out one inch, zoom out, and then now we have this image scaled correctly. All right. So next, what we want to do, we will hit move copy on the image, and then we're going to want to rotate this and just kind of align this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to line up this bottom, probably line up bottom edge here. We'll just kind of have that square, nice and square. We'll just do 5.75. That's more or less square along that right there. So now what we're going to do we're going to do a sketch on this surface, this plane, and we're going to start by drawing this line here. Across here. Um, and I did take some measurements for the rear strut tower top piece, and I want this to be 8 inches. Um, okay, that's basically what I want for my full design. So we'll go ahead and zoom in here and actually just redo that. You know, I'm going to go ahead and move this again. I want to line this corner up with the origin, just make my life a little bit easier. And we'll move it up just a tad, about 0.2 inches. Right there. That's kind of lined up there. So now we just need to make this, edit this sketch. And we'll go ahead and first draw our circle here. And we're going to go with a two inch hole. So we're going to go for We're going to go ahead and put some 
Let's have that there. Start the origin. We'll come out right here. And for now, I'm just going to kind of follow the curves right here. mark and that is going to be we're going to move this one out just a tad okay so it looks good up here I'm trying to decide if I want to go with the kind of a straight straight cut between these two here. So we'll go with the straight line right there. Technically this is not a straight line. Okay, that looks pretty good though. Um, so this is basically what we're working with at this point. You can see it's not too, got a weird shape up here. So that looks pretty smooth there. All right, so we're going to do so 
from here, I'm going to put a point. here and that's going to be three inches that's not right uh, two. one inch oops So now we'll go ahead and do a circular pattern. Um, our objects will be this hole or this circle. Our center point will be right here. And there we go. Three full full angular spacing. Three quantity of three. Okay. Finish sketch. And that's basically the part that we need. Um, now this is pretty much the exact size. Um, so it might make sense to bring it in just a little bit. Um, so what we could do, we could go back into that sketch and we could use this offset tool and bring it in. Basically we bring it in like this. Um, and that will allow it to just kind of sit in on uh, on top a little bit so it could come in like a tenth of an inch just a tad and we'll select this outer one and we'll put that as for construction so it's not the actual line that we'll use And just to show you guys, so we'll go ahead and finish sketch. And we'll extrude this piece out. Just 0.05. And take a look. And then that'll be our piece. So we'll probably start with that, see how that fits, um, and go from there, make some revisions if we need. Um, it's kind of an interesting piece, mostly straight along this line here, a um, little bit of curve along this, and then obviously kind of int an interesting curvature on the top. Um, and on the car, this bottom line here isn't exactly straight. Um, there's kind of like an angle to it, but um, that was mostly uh, kind of taken care of with the way this cardboard was cut. And um, it being straight will be fine. You know, we could fill in with the um, welding. It'll kind of take care of that uh, that gap. Um, but this should be good. Um, and I think that's going to be it for this piece. Um, and essentially, we'll take this this 2D sketch, and then uh, basically we'll generate our files. Uh, for the CNC CNC pl plasma cutter and we'll go ahead and get that cut and see how it fits uh, luckily um, it's symmetric about the uh, center line of the car so um, basically this cut could be replicated twice and um, that'll be used um, for the passenger and uh, driver's side um, rear strut towers um, but that'll be it for this one so let's go ahead and we'll stop this. We'll save this file. Um, we'll do a new project. We'll call it S30 uh, Rear Strut Tower. Uh, there we go.